Hey everyone, and welcome to Pristine Interiors, a deep dive. Ever wish you had like a cheat sheet for finding uh, the perfect painting contractor? Mm -hmm. Well, today's deep dive is all about getting that picture perfect finish, you know, without the paint splattered drama. We're going deep with insights from Jose Ortez, okay. owner of Pristine Painters, yeah. who dropped some serious knowledge in a recent article. Yeah. Get ready to transform your living space one expert tip at a time. All right, let's dive right in. Let's do it. Jose makes a great point right off the bat about written estimates. We've all been tempted to skip this step. Sure. But he lays out why it's so crucial. Um, Yeah, a written estimate is like the bedrock of a smooth painting project. You're not just getting a number, you're getting a detailed breakdown. Labor costs, materials, potential hiccups along the way. Right. It's a roadmap, a contract, and peace of mind all rolled into one. It's like that saying, measure twice, cut once. Yeah, yeah. You want to be on the same page from the get-go. Exactly. And speaking of being prepared, Jose also stresses the importance of checking those credentials, licenses, and insurance. Yeah. It's easy to get swept up in color swatches, right. but these are non-negotiables. And it's not just about asking eyeball they have them, right? You mentioned checking for specific types, like liability and workers' compensation. I have a friend who learned about that the hard way. Ouch. Yeah, that's never fun. A valid license shows they meet industry standards and the right insurance protects you if anything goes wrong. It's all about that peace of mind, knowing your home is in capable hands. Absolutely. Now, this next one really resonates experience. You can't put a price tag on that, can you? You really can't. A seasoned painter has seen it all. Different wall textures, tricky corners, unexpected repairs. That experience translates into a smoother, more efficient project overall. You definitely don't want to be their first rodeo, that's for sure. Oh, uh, right. And speaking of smooth sailing, uh, Jose also highlights the importance of, you guessed it, communication. It seems obvious, uh, but you'd be surprised. It's huge E. You want a contractor who listens, who's responsive to your questions, and keeps you in the loop throughout the process. Open communication builds trust and helps avoid those frustrating misunderstandings down the line. It's about feeling heard and understood. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of getting the inside scoop, Jose recommends checking online reviews. I'm a huge fan of this myself. It's like a window into past experiences. It really is. Yeah. Look beyond the star ratings and dive into the actual comments. What are people saying about their work ethic, their professionalism, how they handle challenges? Right. It's all about getting the full picture. Now, here's a big one that often gets overlooked. Setting clear expectations from the get-go. This is where you lay it all out on the table. Absolutely. Your vision, your timeline, preferred materials, everything. The more detail you provide up front, the less room there is for surprises later on. It's all about that shared understanding. And I love that Jose encourages people to ask for references. You have every right to do your due diligence. Absolutely. Talking to past clients, especially those with similar projects, gives you invaluable firsthand insights. You can ask about their work style, attention to detail, how they handle any curveballs. It's gold. Okay, this next tip is one I hadn't considered before. Jose suggests inquiring about employee training. Tell me more about why that matters. That's a sign of a contractor who's truly invested in quality. A well-trained team means they're up to date on the latest techniques, safety practices, and industry standards. It's like they're investing in their craft, which ultimately benefits you and your home. And speaking of safety, Jose emphasizes the importance of discussing safety and cleanliness protocols up front. I've heard some horror stories, so this is a big one for me. Yeah, no, it's not just about a beautiful finish. It's it's about having that peace of mind, knowing that your home is being treated with respect. Right. You know, you want to hear about how they're going to protect your belongings, your floors, everything. Mm -hmm. And a clean work area that shows professionalism, and it also uh, prevents accidents. It's like that saying, leave it better than you found it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, this next one might seem subtle, but Jose says paying attention to the contractor's demeanor can be telling. Yeah. What do you that, think about that? It's about that gut feeling. Right. You're going to be interacting with these folks throughout the project. So you want somebody who's approachable, who listens, who communicates clearly, and who respects your vision. A positive attitude can make the whole experience so much smoother. It's like having a good rapport with anyone you work with. Right. That's open communication and trust. Exactly. So Jose's article is a treasure trove of practical advice. But for our listener who's thinking, okay, this is great, but where do I even start? Mm -hmm. What's the one piece of advice you'd give above all else? 
It's a great question because there's so much to consider, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I would say with all this practical advice, and it's all truly important, Right. the real key boils down to this. Trust your gut. Yeah. You can gather estimates. You can check every box. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, it comes down to that feeling you get. When you connect with a contractor, right. do you trust their expertise? Do you feel heard? Do they genuinely care about your vision? It's about that human connection. Yeah. That feeling of partnership that goes beyond contracts and color palettes. Exactly. You're not just painting walls. You're transforming your living space. That's right. Creating a place where you'll live, laugh, and make memories. It's a big deal. It is. So do your research, ask the right questions, but most importantly, trust your instincts. Okay. If something feels off, it probably is. Amazing advice to wrap up on. A huge thank you to Jose Ortez for sharing his wisdom with us today. And for our listener, remember, a fresh coat of paint can do wonders, but the real magic happens when you find the right partner to bring that vision to life. Happy painting.